Hello and welcome to day 15 of the plant party that is happening all January long in celebration of my birthday month. It's already day 15. That means there's only 16 days left. What? That's so crazy. Only 16 days. It's funny when you think 16, you're like, oh, it's quite a few days. But in reality, it's going to go by like that, especially because we have an eclipse in the full moon, full blood wolf moon coming up. It's going to be intense times, intense times. Uh, so who am I and what am I doing here? My name is Hilary Raven Porter and I am an integrative healer and ascension guide and mentor. And I work with you in the awakening, stepping over that threshold into the awakening of your inner truth of your divinity so that you can feel that connection, that embodiment, that expression of your truth where you shine so bright and you can walk through your day, moving through your day in an authentic way, which actually draws more opportunities to you that are more aligned with you. And why am I doing plant party? Like I said, it's my birthday month of January and the plant said, hey, I want to come jab with you. So I'm super excited for that. So we're on day 15. And today is all about Usnia. You know Usnia. I'm sure you do. Old man's beard. You know this guy? Hangs from the trees. It's absolutely glorious. Yes, this is Old Man's beard. Can you see? This has been drying on my drying rack because this medicine is amazing. I don't know if it's going to... It's going to do it because it's so dry. So, Usnia is a lichen. I lichen that. Uh, let's see if it's going to do that. Which is a symbiotic relationship. Nope. Between an algae algae, and a fungi. So symbiotic, so that means they're supportive of each other. They're a symbiotic relationship. Now, Usnia and I, we have a very special relationship. Usnia is all about the aura. All about the aura. It allows that firmness within your aura that's protective while still letting things come in and out. But when the things come in and out, especially in, they're transmuted into things that are more benign and they're more compatible with you. As well as they will slow things down so that they will even prevent things from coming in. But a lot of the things that we use for protection, whether it be plants, energetics, whatever we're looking at, they're very much like shields. You're like, nope. Barriers up. Challenge with that is that you're not only preventing the detrimental things from coming in, you're also preventing the beneficial things from coming in. You're also preventing, if it's so firm and so solid, I always, like, in my mind, I'm seeing the a knight's set of armor. How are things going to get out? How are you going to still stay connected? So it's great. We need to be protected. We need to be safe. We need to feel comforted and comfortable within our surroundings and with what's going on, but we still also need to be connected. Usnia lets us do that. The one thing that I've found that I absolutely, I, I made, so I made two tinctures with this lovely, I made multiple, but these two tinctures. So sometimes the odor, so when you pull Usnia apart, you know it's Usnia when you grab it. So that's what I was trying to do, but this stuff, it uh, works when it's moist. I defined it doesn't work when it's dried out. But what you would do is you would slowly, yeah, it's not going to happen. You pull this very, very slowly, and there'll be this white, thin thread in the middle. And then the outside coating. Sometimes the inner thread is really thick, and the outer coating is really thin. Sometimes the outer coating is really thick, and the inner coating is really thin. The inner cord is really thin. So I made a couple of tinctures, being like, what's going to be the difference between these guys? And it was amazing. So the thick ones with the thicker coating allow for like a thicker barrier. I, it, it comes up as like a jelly barrier, right? The ones with the thinner coating are a thinner barrier, allowing stuff to come through more quickly. So when you don't need as much buffering, for lack of a better term. So usnia is also really amazing because it contains usnic acid. So you, you will know, some people have a sensitivity to usnic acid. 
So ustinic acid is amazing and it's antimicrobial, so antiviral, antifungal, antibacterial, and it's great as protection, not protection. Oh my goodness. I just lost the train of thought. I was thinking about the ustinic acid and reminding myself I have to go back and talk about that. So it's great <laughs> for envelope viruses, HPV, HSV, so herpes and warts. It works against those. Not all plants work against envelope viruses. The envelope is like an extra protection that the virus is like, meh, you can't get in. I'm going to wreak havoc. This goes through. This helps with those. Um, but usnic acid. So some people have a sensitivity to usnic acid. So usnic acid will make you, if you touch it, you'll, you'll get like, it'll be itchy or it'll be kind of burny a little bit. If you ingest it, that same thing's going to happen. So if you, when you touch it, it causes that sensitivity. Or if you ingest a little bit, you're like, hmm, doesn't feel so nice. Then usnia is not for you. Old man's beard is not for you. It can be taken in so many ways. So if you're feeling like you're getting sick, put a little slow cooker on with it. Throw some in there, put a little slow cooker, maybe add some other things, maybe some ginger, maybe some garlic, boost it up a little bit, a little bit of honey. I really love it with a little bit of honey. It's really great topically too for any skin conditions or if you're bleeding, shove some of this in the wound. It's hemostatic. Hemostatic means it's going to help you stop bleeding. Now, one thing I do want to point out with this, so we did talk about the usnic acid. It also has long-term high doses, can affect the kidneys. It can be very irritating to the kidneys. But the other thing is, please do not pick this from the trees. When you see it, only pick it from stuff that has fallen. It falls often due to windstorms because it takes so long to grow. So if you pick it, it's like cutting down a tree that's been growing forever. It's going to take so long to replace that. It's also a really good indicator of the area that you're in. There's this beautiful beach up here called Sombrio. It's gorgeous. It's super clean, super pure. Tons of usnia up there. Tons. And what's so great about it is it lets you know how clean the environment is because it will not survive in the environment that is toxic. One of the quotes that I found that I just, it's beautiful. Uh, it's from an indigenous, um, it's an indigenous quote. Uh, Stephen Buhner, I uh, was told this from an indigenous group, clan. I'm sorry, I'm losing the words here. Um, and they had said, it supports the human lungs like it supports the lungs of the earth. Mm, love that. Supports the human lungs like it supports the lungs of the earth. So that is Usnia. That is one of my favorite loves, especially to do with aura manipulation. If you use this with the aura manipulation technique that you may have heard me talking about before, then you are you are set you are good to go with your protection of your aura but while still being able to be connected to your surroundings okay so that is the plant party for today once again i will be posting these videos up onto youtube you can follow along there at hillary raven porter h-r-a-e-f-n i would love to see you there and if there's any herbs or any plants that you'd like me to talk about over the next uh 16 days uh let me know and i'll look into those and pop on and and uh talk about them a little bit more. Okay. I am going to go off and head going to go off and get some dinner now. I'm all jacked up after talking about that uh, Usnia. But so much love and stardust to you. I will be back tomorrow to speak another about another one of our beautiful friends. Okay.